Howdy folks, Richard Jean here. Let's go straight to the point right here. Uh, I get a lot of questions about which docks do I think, you know, Richard, in your opinion, are the best ones to fish. And, you know, I usually uh, will fish them all. And I'll do that because I'll pick up a crappie or two here, one over there, maybe four off of this one. And like that I just want to fish them all usually but there's no doubt if you want to focus on high percentage there's no doubt that the docks that have that's close the deck of the dock is the closest to the water uh, is definitely the best ones uh, it presents a darker shade under the dock the dock in other words them docks it's hard to fish the ones that you'll try to get up under and you just can't and you're just hitting the the, the header joist and you just can't get that doggone thing up under there and you'll say heck with it let's go this dock is higher you're leaving probably the best dock in that area so skipping if the water is real flat is in my opinion, the best way to really get that bait up under there. Um, shooting works well too, but there's something about skipping for me where I can really just fire it way back up in there, just like a flat rock. I want to get it just as far back as I possibly can. And that's usually where the big concentration of crappie are. If you can do that, I've pulled out as many as 20 or more crappie off of one dock. I've done it many a time. But that's my opinion. The low docks, the ones that's hard to fish, they're going to hold the most crappie. Okay. Special thanks okay, to uh, Jeff from Oneonta, Alabama for sending these jigs to me. Uh, they work well, Jeff. Thank you a lot. Hope you all enjoy the video. All right, we're coming up on our first dock. I've never fished this area before. Uh, I'm in five feet of water, so I know there's plenty of water under this this line of docks right here. So, and it's these docks is located on a point. So uh, let's put us a little bit of this slab sauce on here. I have to have. It. I believe in fish attracting. Now here's a, a unique looking jig right here. It's a 132nd ounce and it has a size, come here, six hook in it. And it shines off in the water. Let me tell you what, it, it has a plastic skirt. When I put this in front of a crappie, we're gonna have him. I'm using four pound test line and this is just a Berkeley rod. It's about 20 years old. It's a four pound vicious, and I'm using a, um, I have so many reels, folks, I can't remember. It's a Saran, okay, Garcia Saran, it's an old reel. Takes me a while to get warmed up. But when we do, we will. There's the first fish today. <laughs> that quick. Let me get off this dock. We have some fish right here. That fish hit on the outside edge of that dock. It's a small white crappie. Well, he ain't real small. Come on. I could tell just by the way the action was on that jig that I can make one bite it. That's a white crappie. Good looking jig. You know, you can hand tie your own. You can learn how to hand tie your own and save you some money. That's basically the point. Uh, the last couple videos I've made right here to save yourself money and to have fun uh, with this sport that I call second to none, you can uh, do it yourself. There's a lot of pride in actually tying your own jigs and catching fish. It opens up another realm. Let's let that fish go. Go on back in there. I like the way that jig falls. Very important.
There we go. That's a, feels like a good fish. This rod's real limber right here. It is a good fish though. Look here. There you go. Yep. What you got in your mouth there, Homer? I know you're going to have a sore lip, you pretty thing. Come on. Come on. Hey, we got you. There we go. Getting that bait up under there. Up under that shade is real, real important. Beautiful fish. Let's let him go right here. Watch him. Yeah. I should catch one on that cast. If I don't lose my jig. There we go. Good one. Good one. Doing them head shakes. He's trying to get rid of that jig. That's a size number four. Hooking this jig. That fish wanted that. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Come here, you pretty thing, you. <laughs> you sock lay fish. That's a black crappie. See how far down that is. He choked it. Is that the word? Choked it. I'm not going to say that. I'm... He eat it. That's, that's my generation term is eat. He eat it. Okay. Real simple. Take your time while you're cropping. And let's release it. There we go. Okay. Now here's another dock right here, and that's low to the water, so it's casting a lot, uh, a lot of shade. Um, it's not what I call the very best dock you can fish, but I'm going to fish it because it could be holding two or three fish, no doubt. It's set up in about six feet of water, five and a half feet of water. Uh, hey, let's give it a shot. I'll just about fish every dock in front of me. You never know what's under them. Okay, that's the most important thing. It could be loaded up with all kinds of cover. It's an old dock. Preferably, I like to fish older docks versus newer docks because of that reason. More cover under them. Uh, let's see what we can do. Let's make us skip back up in there. I would think it would hold a crappie. It's got a good shade going on right here. Yep, yeah, that's a good one. I tell it's a white crappie. Can y'all believe that? White crappie. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> I don't know how. Sometimes I can. Now. Take a look at this. Okay. See it's down his throat. Not too far. Not enough to hurt the fish. We got forces. So let's. There we go. Beautiful white crappie. Let him go. Okay, I've swapped jigs. This is a duck feather jig. If y'all have never heard of that, yep, duck feather. That used to be something that was used a whole lot back in the day. We're going to slab her up. Same thing. I imagine there's some fish here. Got a lot of structure here and a lot of shade. There we go. A lot of structure, a lot of shade. 
means crappie, off the duck feather jig. I've used them before back in the day. When you're half of a century, you used about everything. Okay, let's get him in. There's a good fish. Hit the duck feathers, and I hear some back there. They mess with me. Well, we'll have some feathers, and I'll make me some jigs. No, let him go there. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. You know, skipping docks or shooting docks, either one can be very productive when the water temperature reaches, say, 70, 70 degrees up to 90 degrees. But you know what? 